everybody. Okay, so today I am showing you guys how to put together a tulip card. So I have a background here, it's folded in half, and all of my cards are, um, are usually a standard size. So this is just folded in half and cut out your silhouette machine. This one's harder to show you guys. So there are a lot of little tiny pieces. Um, there is a planter piece. And you guys, I'm gonna clean this camera off. I don't know why it's looking so fluorescent-y. Let's see if I can angle you guys in a way. Maybe not. Maybe you guys are just gonna have this bright light shining. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Um, oh, anyway, the planter piece. Then there is um, this background piece, which is pink, or I've cut it out pink anyway. And then I have three little, let's see if I can show these to you guys, three little cutouts that are um, little green leafy bits, okay? And I have this little tiny brown piece. I love the silhouette machine because it really does cut out the tiniest things. Okay, so this card is available in my silhouette shop and I'm gonna show you how to put it together today. However, if you're part of my silhouette VIP group, which is totally free to join, you are getting this card for free today. Um, so you should receive it sometime this afternoon um, because I know there are several of you who will sign up today and I just wanna make sure that you get it. So go ahead and sign up. You can sign up on my website at karinagardner.com. Pretty easy, right? Soup's easy. I can't believe I just said soups. That's hilarious. All right. All right, here is uh, the background card. So what I would recommend is actually starting with the planter. So everything is set up to fit on this little guy right here. And I'm just using stick glue today. You don't even need hot glue. When I was preparing to do this video, I was like plugging in my hot glue machine and I was like, wait, or glue gun, not machine. And I was like, wait, I, I don't need this today. So what we're gonna start out with is the planter bottom. And if you get this card, you'll see that I did it in totally different colors. I did do a pink background, but then I did a craft colored card um, and I did um, a light pink bottom. So here's the planter piece. I just put some stick glue on it. So go ahead and glue this down. And by the way, you can totally pop dot this if you want the dimension on it, okay? So there you go with that. And then I like to glue on next the um, this teeny tiny little brown, look how tiny it is, this little dirt piece. And um, I am gonna put the glue directly on the brown piece and I'm just gonna check to make sure I've got it going the right way. See how if you lay it on it, you can see which way, whoa. Sorry, this is like the hazards of working with a really tiny piece. So see how I laid it down and it doesn't fit. So flip it until it fits correctly. There we go, so it should be like that. So I'm just gonna put a little glue on the back of that. I love stick glue, cause a little goes a long way. And you guys, I don't know if I can hold it up and show you my gluing it on, cause it's just so tiny. All right, there you go. Can you see that? All right, so now I'm gonna glue on each of these little green bits. So just make sure it fits um, by laying it on to make sure it's going the right way because you cut them out and you could accidentally glue it the wrong way. So here's the first one. And you can see how the background pink becomes the flower piece, okay? Let's do the second one. I'm just gonna lay it on and make sure I'm going the right way. See if you guys can even see it. Okay, and let's get the last one on. 
I love these layered cards because they really are so simple to make and they make an awesome um, customized way to give someone a card. Okay, so this piece is officially done and you can pop dot it or just glue it. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry you guys um, on Instagram for the um, bright light. Glue it directly to your card piece. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna put a little glue on the back of this piece. Okay. And then just try to center it the best that you can. You won't have to do it looking at it straight up the way I'm doing, okay? And then glue it into place. This took me less than five minutes to cut. It was super easy to cut. I just don't know how to fix that glare for you guys. I am sorry. Let's see. Back is better. It looks like back is a little bit better for you guys. Okay, so the last thing is, once again, you can pop dot it to your card or you can just glue it. I'm just gonna glue it today because it's faster because so you guys get the general idea. Okay, so get this last piece on and Okay, the other thing you can do that is so cute, I feel like it's gotten a little bit out of vogue. You guys need to tell me, has it become out of vogue to um, take some ink and ink up the edges of things? Oh gosh, you guys can't see it at all well over there, can you? I am so sorry, guys. I'm attempting to have you guys see it a little bit better. Okay, angled's about a little bit better for you guys. All right, so the bottom line is this card is available in my silver shop, but I, of course I make stuff and I want you to get it for free. So make sure and join my website at karinagarden.com because I send you guys a free file every single week and then I make it for you guys because I want you to make things. This is um, everyone who follows my feed. I feel like you guys are just makers, which is the point. I love makers and creators. Um, and so I want you to have some files that you can cut out and, and make for free. So anyway, you can join my Silhouette VIP group on my website at KarinaGardner.com. And then the last public announcement is that Fabric Design Academy closes, closes registration one week from today. So if you have been wanting very badly to become a surface de designer or just know how I do it and maybe make your own beautiful fabrics, which you totally can digitally, which is really fun, you should take that class, Design a Fabric Design Academy, and that is at KarinaGardnerCourses.com. So um, I will see you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed making this with me. Make sure and comment below if you got this file, which should go out today. Um, and if you've been ha having fun making these with me. Okay, see you guys.